And could you talk a little bit about like where your mind goes when you're playing in a game like that, and when things are just flowing, your shots are going down, and and just how you were reading the game so well? Um, just keep making the right play. Um, my teammates was playing great uh, tonight. Uh, they showed up big time for us, so just keep making the right play. The energy that your team started with was amazing, and what did you think of Kyle's play out there, especially against his old team? Cal played incredible. Jaden, um, Austin, Rudy, Nas, Nate, all them guys that showed up big time for us tonight. How has your trust grown in making the right play? Um, you know, you just got to – that's just how, how the game of basketball is played. I just had to figure that out. Like, you can't shoot all the shots, so just got to get off of it sometimes. So I'm cool with it. Has the game become easier for you as you've done that more and more? Yeah, for sure. Just being able to see, like, I know when they rotate and I know they're going to try to put two on me to not let me get a shot off. So I'm just picking them apart at this point. Confidence grown, like you weren't that active offensively early, but just knowing that your moments are going to come. And yeah, not for sure. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not worried. Um, I know it's going to come. Um, I'm gonna keep making the right play till they loosen up, and then when they loosen up, that's when I'm gonna go, and that's what I did tonight. Yeah, how does, does Kyle help you guys, especially in a fourth quarter of, of a game, kind of steady the ship even when things might be? Getting he helped us uh, throughout the game. Uh, we was up ten. I think they started going a little run. He was like, come on, it ain't over. Then we went back up. So he just, he stays on us throughout the game. And uh, in the fourth, we just like, we put the ball in his hands. We know he can make some, make a smart play. So pretty much. Did you set the tone early on Jackson with the dunk on him that kind of opened the floodgates for other, your, your teammates? I don't even right? remember the dunk. That's a crazy thing, but um, I hope I did. <laughs> and what, seeing uh, Rudy kind of in the fourth quarter, did you feel like he really made an impression just defensively? And defensively, hitting him in the pocket, um, him finishing, yeah, he, he played great tonight, man, for sure. Do you think you guys are finding a little bit of a rhythm now just together as a team? Like, yeah, for sure. Everybody happy for each other. Um, that's the main thing. As long as we're happy for each other, win, lose, or draw, I think we're going to grow and get better. What's the key, Ant, now as you go into the second half of a back-to-back -to -back tomorrow against another good team um, of just kind of keeping this energy rolling? Um, like I told uh, one of the guys before, we're a good team. So um, it's not even – we just got to come out and play hard because we got – a great group of guys. So if we come out with the same intensity that we came out with tonight, we we'll, we we'll probably come out victorious tomorrow. And yeah. just wondering, you know, how would you describe your relationship, you know, with y'all? I know y'all got like handshaking and, yeah. and all that. How do you describe? Uh, nah, that's my dog. Uh, yeah, that's my dog. I've been talking to him since I was a freshman in college. He hit me. So um, yeah, we we've been cool since then. Yeah, that's my dog for sure. He, he hit you up in and caught when I was in college. Yeah, for sure. So yeah, we built a relationship uh, from then, and it's still going. Yep. What are you guys able to do in the half court defense to kind of frustrate Memphis offensively? It seems like a lot of their points come in transition or offensive glass, but not really in the offensive sets. Um, just try to get the ball out of Jai's hands, um, make everybody else beat us. Um, pretty much, yeah, that's the game plan. Yeah.